Welcome everyone, it's RP Jimmy, and look, we have a new RPG that I'm going to be doing, but I'm not doing this one alone. I have Bill here with me. We're going to journey on to WrestleQuest. How are you feeling, Bill? I'm doing good. I've heard a lot of things about this game. I am looking forward to see how this is. So this is going to be a series because we had some bad news in that in 2024, eliminated... A Royal Rumble podcast is not coming back. However, in the time that that's gone, myself and Bill will be doing this WrestleQuest series, for better or for worse. Like, I don't know how this is going to go. Um, Bill and I have already talked about how we're going to be developing voices if we need to. Bill, what do you know about this game? Okay, so what I know is it is an RPG game where you get to be a wrestler are going to meet other wrestlers and then you're going to face famous wrestlers to try to be the best. Okay, and every episode that we do of this is gonna be roughly between 50 minutes and an hour and 10 minutes. Uh, the first five episodes of this is going to be pre-recorded and then everything after that, we're gonna do a weird little system because Bill, uh, let's face it, in this day and age, apparently pro wrestling is on every single day of the week, except Sunday. Yeah. So it's going to be very hard to keep it timely. So what our goal is to is we will record an episode and try to have a turnaround of maybe two or three days where it appears on the eliminated podcast feed and also on YouTube for myself uh, for the RP Jimmy page. So, with that in mind, let's let's give them a little... You're going to be doing um, the Hulk Hogan guy. So, let's hear a little bit of your Hulk Hogan. Well, let me tell all you Hulkamaniacs something. WrestleQuest is the greatest video game of all time, dude. And I'm not even in it, but my name is in it. So, you know what, brother? I'm going to get money, brother. Uh, and as for me, I'll be the uh, the main character, which is based off of the Macho Man. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Uh huh. So, we're going to do our best and we will add other voices if they seem to be significant characters. Let's go! New game! And we're going to talk about things uh, for this episode, probably some of our background in wrestling of what we follow and different events and all that. Well, here we go. Mm -hmm. Here, Bill, why don't you read the podcast chorus? Okay. Welcome to the toy room, where every action figure, toy miniature, and plushy dreams of wrestling greatness. Oh, who's going to do Jake? Mm. I don't think I'd do a good Jake. Uh, have you try Jake? From the board game jungles of Jung Laji... I guess a little loading talk. Oh, I can do this. All right, hold on. Let me get it to DDP mode. Uh, let's see. Hey, monkey boy. Okay. All right. To the wintry winds of the great north. Why is Diamond Dallas Page in the great north? I have no idea. He's, he's from, he's from New Jersey. Jersey. Did they consider New Jersey the north? I, I, we are the northeast, I guess. Yeah, I guess. There he is. Oh, God. I'll try to do Jarrett. Let's see. Um, how, do, how, does, <laughs> how does Jarrett go? Uh, uh, listen up, Slappy. All right, here we go. Every toy lives, breathes, and craves wrestling, practicing their slams and paying homage to the legend that came before them, Slap Nuts. <laughs> that was good. Oh, I could do Conrad. Uh, hold on, wait, let me see. <laughs> Hold on, wait, what, how, how, let me get into a Conrad uh, thing here. By the way, another warning to people, I randomly sing, apparently, in my gaming videos. I've noticed this about myself recently, so be prepared for a random song here and there if I think of one. All right, Conrad. Uh, let's see, what, is, what does Conrad say? Uh, the, uh, what would that sound like? Okay. Many tales of creativity and imagination have sprung from the toy room, and many fabled battles have taken place here, both in and out of the ring. 
one such tail and its many battles, both of the plastic and of the heart, is about to begin. And the quest of this size takes not one hero, but two. Alright, so far we're we're learning about the world, and apparently that Diamond Dallas Page is in the Great North. Exactly. Is this us? Have to find out. I'll do Savage. Oh yeah, we're here to see the dream rise to the top. So if you want to find me, don't look sideways, don't look behind you, just look up. Stone Age Cotton. Right, stone Cold, that. you want to do Stone, stone Age Cotton? Yeah, okay. Go ahead. Listen, wizard, you gotta run this belt with like your madness in the ring. It belongs only to the best. Yeah! That's why I'll be chip for a long time. Dig it! 10,000 years plus! <laughs> 10,000 years? 10,000 years is full chip in. Oh, yeah! Shades a little too dark. Can't you see I have this place rigged with low? Yeah, why would you go in that ring? No, <laughs> I'm looking Why are you standing? That's true, too. Explosives don't scare me, you snitch of cotton ball. You can't win by cheating. I mean, that's more than cheating. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you always think you are such a hero, don't you, Macho Man? You can't win when the deck is stacked against you this bad. <laughs> and that's the bottom thread, because Stone Age <laughs> said so. You can't win, Stone Age. You're just a grain of sand in the desert of macho madness. Ooh, yeah. Now this game's off to a hot start. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Was going to the Hall of Fame. Yes. <laughs> Which one? We don't know. Young Randy Santos. I guess I will just do normal ones because I don't feel like none of these people matter. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't right. Know. Oh wait, no. Isn't Randy Santos actually supposed to be the player? I think so. Yeah. Uh, so I'll just do regular until we know that for sure. All right. Okay. Wow, wow, wow! Did you guys see that? Here, you be peanuts. Forget it, Randy. We'll never get tickets this late. I'll do Clank. Uh, what, what, what you clank still? I Clark. Mean, oh, Clark. Clank. <laughs> That's a better name than Clark. Uh, that is true. Come on, we can still wrestle outside. Now I want there to be a clank in this game. Oh, so, so this must be the toy box then. And they're just watching the real Macho Man on TV. Yeah. Go for it, Randy. Oof. Good thing this isn't the plastic mattress. Man, how do the pros do some of those high fly moves without hurting each other? <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's all fake, dude. <laughs> That's right, everything's fake. Why are we even here? What? Yep. Bye, everybody. Watch your mouth! <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, peanuts, shut it. You really think it's real? Really? 
The sad thing is people do say this nowadays still. You really yeah. think it's real? Of I course agree. it's real. Oh, if he says it's real to me. <laughs> it's about as real as Todd. Who's Todd? Oh. Oh, here we go. I'll do Todd. I'll, I'll do this. Oh, one. you want to do robot? Okay, go ahead. I'll, I'll do robot. Hey, counterfeit toys are still real. That's you. Shut up, Todd. In you, Randy. Even if wrestling was real, which it isn't, you'll never be a pro. No kid from our town ever could be. You couldn't be more wrong. Wrestling is real, and it'll be, and I'll be its greatest champion ever. OC. I mean, the robot is right. Even the counterfeit toys are toys. I guess. Several years later. All right, so that is who we wound up being. So I'll just switch mm -hmm. him to my Macho Man voice then. Uh, okay, right. so here we go. Randy Santos. Oh, yes, this new outfit feels estupendo. And I better get out to the main part of the gym. Mr. Stretch wants me to train the new students. On the oh, so this is just instructions. Okay. Right. Mr. Stretch. Who do you think Mr. Stretch is? Oh, gosh. Um, I don't know. Get stretched. How snow? Pro wrestling gym. All right, so now I'm actually controlling this. This is me. Okay, I got a run button. Cool. Do I have any menu? Yes. What do we got here? Inventory? Anything? We have clear tape, Bill. It heals oh, me 50 oh, yeah. HP. There oh, you go. Oh, skills. Gimmicks. I, I can't hit it. Ooh. Team, we don't have any Team. friends. Quest Karma. Aww. Karma. <laughs> Randy has no friends. <laughs> Doesn't have any. Wrestlepedia. They have a bestiary, which we don't have any names for yet. This is usually where the en all the enemies go that you've met. Okay. Achievements. I can't hit. Them. Oh. Oh. What's this? Nail 200 button prompts. Kick out fun time. All right. We'll see if we. Uh, can do some of them later. Okay. So, Bill, how's how how are you feeling about this so far? Well, I I mean, Peanuts is really good, and I miss Stone Age already. I do too. Oh, look, we're fighting Elvis. It looks like. <laughs> you wanna be Johnny Stretch? Sure. There you are, Randy. Get in the ring and show these greenhorns the ropes. You got it, Mr. Stretch. Oh, he's Mr. Stretch. Uh, it's tutorial time. All right, rookies, you want to learn how to wrestle? You want to discover how to win the crowd's loyalty and hear their cheers shake the very foundation of the universe? <laughs> Who wrote that line? <laughs> you want to become a coiled spring of excitement, the most electrifying thing the world of wrestling has ever seen? You want to be Spear Chad? Man, this is downright poetic. Then you are in the right place, muchachos. Take some notes and soak it in. Alright, tutorial time. Alright, it's your turn. You can strike, taunt, use an item, or use a gimmick. Let's practice our strikes first. B, strike. Why isn't it? Oh, because I had to hit it. Whenever you strike, you can earn some extra damage if you are able to match the button prompt. Try it now. Oh, C. Nice job. So, Bill, while I'm learning the tutorial, why don't you tell people about yourself and your wrestling fandom? Alright. So, I've been a fan since it was about five or six years old um i have my first wrestling show i ever went to was survivor series 95 which was bret hart and diesel three um let's see what else uh i've been to a wrestlemania i interviewed some wrestlers in the past um 
my most recent one was uh, many months ago. It was with Barry Horowitz. All right. What did Barry have to say for himself? That dude was a cool dude. He he talked about his career, uh, you know, what he's been up to, like what wrestlers he likes to watch today. And I also learned how he started being had his back again. Okay. Yeah, so that's the thing about Bill. He actually runs a um, That Wrestling Show podcast. And, God, you've been doing that for so many years at this point. Yeah. Like, what What episode, like, are you over, what, don't give, like, an exact, because I don't know when this is getting posted, but, like, yeah. give me, like, over 1,000, something like that. Oh, no. No, we're, I'd say I'm close to 600 episodes. All right, look, we got gimmicks. Grab an enemy and show them some spice. Deals damage to one target. The south of the border stunner. Border stunner. Oh, gosh. There it is. Oh, wow, that did a lot. And he still didn't take him down. Nah, such power, such strength, such machismo. As for me, like, I, oh, hold on, Spear Chan. Wow. Oh, this is a new guy, right? Uh, all right, I'll be him. Uh. What happens if you fail the prompt after knocking an item into the ropes? <laughs> then the enemy will use the momentum against you. So you better nail it. Is the only way of beating an opponent to make them lose all their HP? Dios mio, no! In fact, most other wrestlers you face will have to be pinned. Observe. I do know about the pin mechanic, for sure. <laughs> Alright, let's see what I gotta do here. Let's go. We call this date fatigue. Fatigue, fatigue, okay. Alright, let's send him to win a strike. Fine. I think we're going to learn how to pin now. Now this enemy has fallen. When your opponent is on the mat like this, he is ready to be put into submission. The pin option will be available in the gimmick menu. Alright. Here's the gimmick menu. So that's the thing, you have to hit the button when the indicator is in the green zone. Alright. I missed! Or you'll probably gain energy if I don't pin right. Two, three. There it is, I win. <laughs> well, did you see how the referee slides? <laughs> the referee. Nice, now the enemy is down and out. If you fail the pin attempt, your enemy will kick out and recover some HP. You can always attempt to pin him again after damaging him. Every pin attempt you do will get easier. Be on your guard though, Tippo. Enemy wrestlers can also pin you. If you are too weak, once you are pinned, there is no coming back. Also, note that all the all enemies will need to be pinned. Not all enemies need to be pinned. Only wrestlers and other tough guys. Hey, we got some experience. We leveled up twice, apparently. So let's see what happens when we level up, though. All right. I guess that's it, just the stats go up. I thought maybe they would give you an option of, hey, what bonus stat do you want to be it? Like, mm -hmm. And that covers the basics of wrestling. Strike and slam opponents and be sure to hit those button prompts for extra damage. Beat them up already and they'll be softened up for a pin. Remember to keep things exciting and interesting to keep the crowd engaged so that you retain control over the hype meter and potentially get five stars from Dave Meltzer. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, I think you're Johnny oh, Stretch. Yeah. Thanks, Randy. Why don't you lend a hand with the other greenhorns around? When you're done, come see me in the AV room for some lessons with the other advanced students. And then we'll talk about how Dave Meltzer is overrated. Hey, what is this? Press, oh, because I'm the... What, what are these two guys on the ladder fighting for? 
<laughs> like, meaning, what are they trying to grab? Alright, I'm gonna run around a little bit to explore. Oh, look, look who it is! <laughs> what does that it's say? It's wrestler from the north! What does it say? Power cuffs? Yeah, I think so. Um, so a little bit about me. So my first event was WrestleMania 10. So that tells you right there I am a, um, a new generation <laughs> made fan. Uh, I, I currently, I, I'll be honest with everyone, I don't really follow that much. Uh, AEW, not as much as I used to. I'm the first to admit that, why does this let, why does this light up like this? Oh. Um. And, I mean, you know, that might have changed since this recording, but. What about you, Bill? What do, what do you like to keep up on? You're everything, um... really. Pretty much AEW, WWE. Um, oh, hmm. What torso do I choose? Is it really all about the fringe? Fringe is important, but you should also consider the materials that the torso is made of. Each material reacts differently to the many hypes of the of elemental damage out there. If you know what element your enemy is going to use, you can prepare for it. So that's very, very much. Like, elemental damage and RPG thing. I have right. to say, I appreciate... It It doesn't seem like something that would be easy to figure out how to mix together. Mm -hmm. Hey, you're mixing to It's a very... How do I say this? When they were creating this game, they had to figure... This is a very niche game. Because first yeah. off, it seems like you're mostly focusing on 80s wrestling. Secondly, mm -hmm. it's a turn-based RPG. <laughs> and thirdly, it's door like it's it's weird. It's right that's not like it's weird that there's a pro wrestling RPG out there. Right. Alright, I'm gonna assume I go where the exclamation point is. Wait, what's Can what? I have the Bret Hart jacket? <laughs> And it looks like you have the warrior jacket, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe you'll have to do a Brett voice. I could do that one. Or you could just say, never been the right time to say goodbye. Right! <laughs> Johnny Stretch. All right. Who here knows the secret to pumping up the crowd? All right, I don't... Um... Who do you think this is supposed to try to be? Leonard Alpha. Oh, Ma Kenny Omega. Oh, okay. Um, can you do Kenny? Do you know how to do a Kenny Omega? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll give it a try. Go ahead. All right, um, you'll be Le Leonard Alpha. <laughs> <laughs> I do. It's baby oil. <laughs> Come on, Leonard. How many times do I have to tell you that baby oil is not the answer to everything? You know what? Get, get out of here. Go go do some burpees until you puke. What's a burpee? <laughs> I have no idea. Sir, you can pump up the crowd by showing your spice in the ring. Very good, Randy. But what about before you get in the ring? I'll tell you. You've got to get on the mic and cut a promo so hot it will ignite the crowd and burn your opponent to ash. How do you do this? Part of it is knowing your enemy, and part of it is being fast on your feet. Time to try it. Randy, come on up here. Let's see how you do with a rapid fire session. Tremor. Who do you think this is? Earthquake? Maybe. Alright, I'll do Tremor. Uh, All right. let's see. Oh, let's see. Randy is, uh, he has a stupid name. Oh! Oh, what is this? Not as stupid oh, you as your face. You or, Randy is better than the seismic disappointment or whatever it is you call yourself. I'll let you pick this one. What do you want? I, I like Randy is better than the seismic disappointment. Alright. Or whatever it is you call yourself. Yay! Blind... Uh, who do you think this is? Blind... But the Pira? Well, I have no idea. Alright, well, I will do your... 
do voice for a blind Papira. All right. Randy is so weak. Even I can see that he doesn't stand the chance of winning. All right. Yeah, but you can smell what uh, what it might do. <laughs> <laughs> or that might be true for snakes and ladders, but we're here to wrestle, so you're going down. I guess we're going to do this one. That might be true for snakes uh, yeah. and ladders. Yeah. <laughs> Tabby, Tabby Flynn. Flynn. Oh, it's Tabby Flynn. Any ideas? Are you, I'll tell you what, you nailed that Kenny Omega one, because that's why I'm yeah, really relying did. on you. Do you think it's Jerry? Jerry Lynn? Maybe. Alright, do a generic voice for Tabby Flynn. I'm gonna crack Candy Santo so over here like a sugar cookie. Well, you should be careful with all that sugar and candy so you might get diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> or, <laughs> and I'm gonna dump this kitty cat here into the litter box. <laughs> I feel like both of them are pretty good, to be honest with you. Yeah. I think though you gave the better response for the diabetes, so we're gonna go with that one. Okay. The diabetes thing. No! Oh C class. You can generate height before a big match by flexing on the mic. If you want to see more, I have an old match here on the TV between the Lochador and Dash Talent. Back when the Lochador was still part of Paul. Prior to this bout, Dash had been antagonizing the Benthic Terror with a fishing rod during his matches against other opponents, trying to hook him during a high-flying move. Alrighty, you slam junkies. Get back to work. Except for you, Randy. I have a job for you. What is it, Mr. Stretch? There's a guy from the Boxwood Entertainment Wrestling. No, Boxwood Extreme. Re <laughs> oh, Extreme. <laughs> what did I say? Entertainment. Okay. There's a guy from the Boxwood Extreme Wrestling, the local wrestling league over at the Macho Man statue. You know it? Do I ever. Great. This BEW wrestler needs help with his gimmick. You'll know him when you see him. He's kind of between styles. AJ? Maybe. All right, so we got a new quest. Tutorial quest tracker. Check out your current objectives and past accomplishments. So let me just throw this out to everyone right now. And I, I did talk to Bill about this uh, before we had recorded and when going through our whole format with this thing. I know that there's going to be a good... I mean, it's an RPG. There's going to be side quests. There's probably a chance that I'm going to just do that off recording and we're, when Bill's on, we're mostly going to focus on the main story. Um, if I even decide to do some of those side quests. So, FYI, just in case anyone's wondering. There you go. All right. I want to weird the bread heart thing. How do I do that? Oh, no, no, we well, already oh, read this already. We did that already. <laughs> I thought maybe he was going to sell me the bread heart thing. So I could say, never been the right time to say goodbye. <laughs> never been the right time to say goodbye. Say goodbye. I mean, you could even sing that song, Bill. Because he talks, uh, everyone, basically. <laughs> everyone could. <laughs> to make this easy and make her cry. Right. Wait, it says... No. Oh, exit's at the steps. Oh, it's up there, okay. Yeah, it's lost. never been the right time to say goodbye. Say goodbye. I was just saying the Macho Man song from that thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alright, so I guess this is our overworld map. There's a weight. And a boot. And a trash can? I, I know I have to go the... And, I know I have to go to the Macho Man statue, but I kind of want to explore. So let's see what's over here. Okay. What do you think this is? Just a luchador place? Yeah. yeah face to face? All right. Oh, uh, I, can't, I can't go any further. It's not Yeah, B-E-W. Yeah. B-E-W. 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 All right, let's just go to the sta uh, Savage statue. Cream Macho Cream Man statue. Cream Macho Man statue. I, 
I think this is just like an, an like an overview voice. So I'll do it. Known for his can what? Known for his consummate consummate physical ability, his savage wrestling style, and his deep gravelly voice. Macho Man Randy Savage is quite possibly the most iconic legend of wrestling. Celebrating 29 title reigns in his 32-year career, Macho Man was not just a celebrated champion, but a long-standing crowd favorite as well. Whether cutting exciting promos or delivering incredible and theatrical flying elbow drops, Randy Savage won fans and accolades everywhere he went. Even today, Savage is revered by fans and wrestlers alike, with his story inspiring generation after generation, it is no secret that only someone like Macho Man can make the entire wrestling world stand up and say, Ooh, yeah. It's truly something, isn't it? Wow, new person. Who do you think Neon Gravebird is? Neon Gravebird? Wow, I have no idea. Alright, uh, why don't you do a Neon Gravebird? See, it's hard to tell... By the way, everyone, we might be switching voices because we have no idea who's going to be in it for the long haul and who's not yet, so... Exactly. Yeah, okay, so give something Neon right. a voice. Uh, I was always more of a fan of guys that wore face paint. Though that time Jake the Snake trapped Macho Man in the ropes and attacked him with that cobra would go big, would go over big in B.E.W. B.E.W. Wait! You're the guy I'm here to meet. I'm from the training gym. I'm here to help. Great. So you see, I can't quite decide which way to go. Should I be vibrant and electrifying or dark and brooding? I think dark and brooding fits BEW better, but I just love using bright colors. I've got to pick something that will fit with the vibe of the other guys or the writers won't know how to use me. Writers? For, forget it. Look, can you just go to the face paint shop for me? They have some samples I want to try out. Sure. Face paints so the writers will like you. Poor thing, babbling about writers. <laughs> he must be <laughs> delusional. How funny would it be just thinking about this, because, again, this is an RPG, and RPGs are usually driven by story, so even when I'm playing RPGs by myself, I'm like, okay, here's my theory for the future. What if the main boss of this entire game winds up being the equivalent to Vince Russo? Bro. Oh, yes. Because like, he's the writer. Yes. Like, it'll be like Lance Cuso. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. Listen, you're 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 gonna you're gonna be like the Stone Age guy, uh, yabba dabba do, bro, and uh, <laughs> you're you're gonna you're gonna you're you're gonna run with your feet, bro. You know, bro. You're gonna have a pet dinosaur, but he's not. His name is not Dino. Uh, we'll we'll, we'll call him uh, Gino. All I'm trying to say, bro. Oh, wait, what's this? Camera moves. Switch? Head to the face paint shop to the south. Oh, that must be... That's this place over here. Okay. No, no, I don't want to go back. I'm just not, not used to the controls. So, Bill, what, what else is going on? In, in What else do people should people know about you while I make my way to the paint shop? Oh, gosh, what else What's should wrestling? you all know about me? I mean, we've mentioned that you wrestling. do a podcast... You yeah, you're doing um, this I, game. Yep i I write articles for Daily DDT. Um, pretty much about whatever you know. It could either be something going on currently or something in the past. All right. Hola, amigos. Hmm. Strange. There's nobody here. Maybe they're in the back. Oh, that's already sounds very fishy. Face paint mm -hmm. on your feet. What kind of madman would do such a thing? Let me go. It's the, I'll say this. I, the the map thing is very very strange. The one yeah. thing on the right, cause it's hard to tell, cause it's not like usually I'm used to a map that shows a path. Wrestle mm -hmm. Raider. Wrestle Raider. 
All right, I'll 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 try this one. All right. Okay. Uh, let's see. I don't know. I, maybe Vader. Uh, okay. Maybe. All right. What's Vader do? Oh, it's time! It's time! It's Vader time! All right. Take it all. Gather the war paint for our overlords. They're looting the shop. Here's one. Take him alive and we'll melt him down and use his plastic as war paint. Oh, God. It's a little, it's a little rough. Seriously? All right, Bill, so now you'll... Let's let's see. What, what should we do here? Strike? I guess we're just going to do regular... Oops. No, not to one... Ah, I didn't want to do that. I don't want to lose my first battle here. It's by myself. Yeah, seriously. What? See, here's what's weird. So you have to hit B, B to select him, and then it's... Oops. It's A. It's weird to me. Right. I, I definitely got to get used to this, these controls off, off recording. So, B, B, A. I keep missing that stuff, too. Yeah, I'm definitely not used to this. I don't know. But I'm still, like, I have a lot of help, surprisingly, for a story. Right. No, wait, what did, you, what did you say about, uh, about the fans? You remember that? It's like, you gotta keep them entertained or something? Well, I'm gonna give them a South of the Border style first and see if that works. There, now I should be able to pin him. Where was the pin? Oh, there it is. Gimmick, no, gimmicks. Pin. Yeah, it was gimmicks. Right, pin. okay. And now I just have to time this right. Yeah. One. Got him. You got him. So why is he stealing the paint? Somebody is stealing the paint. I don't know if it's he him is. or not. No, because he's like, oh, let's, let's make you into whatever he said. I should find the shop owner before these wasteland slammers try to melt him down too. Oh, I see a treasure chest. I got an elbow, elbow pad. pad. Oh gee, I wonder where they are. Maybe these footprints will tell me. <laughs> a table. There's only one way through. What? What? <laughs> Hold on a second. Do it, do I it, guess. Do oh it. my god! Tutorial table spots? Uh, a table ah. locked locks your fan. Unlock the table with the table spot token. Once you find one, reapproach the table. Oh, wait, so I have to find a token? Mm. Alright, let's, let's see. So let's see what happens if I go here right now. It just would have been funnier to just go through. I need a table or spot set. token. Okay, so we're. It's, it's saying go this way, I feel like. I see another treasure chest. Yeah, I do too. There you go. Action Extra speed your speedos. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, this has got to be it. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. The table spot there. Yep. Alright, let's go break a table. He does put himself through it, basically. Yeah, kind of. Clutch hold. Wait, we had this person, didn't we? Think he was, was... Wrestle Raider. Okay. Oh, I think it was me. I was like, okay. More war yeah. paint. Our masters demand it. Salesman. <laughs> Somebody help! We're being robbed! Oh, did you wonder who's going to help? I should have healed. If this brings me into a battle. Yep, I figured that. Alright, taunt. No, not taunt. I always do that by accident. Oh, 
I got. I really need to work on my freaking P. Okay. I don't. Re I guess I'm not used to Switch controller remembering what the buttons are. Right. That was good. All right. You know what he's getting now? Where is it? Yeah, there it is. He's getting a south of the border star. What's the least? Oh, like this. Oh, damage up? Okay. Well, wait, hold on. He's got... I'll give him another one of these, then. That's all. My health is pretty bad. Dude, I'll do 50. I'll, I'll trust myself that I can get through this. Miss. No. A lot of pressure here. Here, okay. So, if what they said earlier was correct, it should be easier to pin now. Yeah. So why were you trying to steal the uh, the pink stuff? All right, this is buddy, you. yep, buddy, that was amazing. Are you a superhero? Ha! Ah, superheroes are fake. I'm a pro. <laughs> 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 okay. Well, whatever you are, those were some macho moves, muchacho. Yes, macho moves, muchacho. I like the sound of that. Those blasted Wrestle Raiders come down here to get supplies for the rituals to worship the Road Warriors, Hawk and Animal. I wish they could emulate someone more heroic. Someone more heroic? Anyways, what can I do for you, bud? It's on the house. Amigo, I am here for a special order. Some samples for an hombre going through an identity crisis. Ah, I know the one. Can't decide between Goth and Surfer. Here they are. The Sting? Thanks, Muchacho. Like Alright, let's go back to Neon Gravebird. Oh, wait, was that something? No, I wonder. Oh, yeah. I'm listening. I wonder if Randy Savage is still champion. Oh, from against the whoever he was at the beginning? Yeah, he said he was going to be champion for 10,000 years. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, I thought this was something to click on. I guess I was wrong. Okay. I think he, yeah, I think he gave you. Uh, I just want to check in here one more time, make sure I didn't miss anything. No, look, look, everything's cleared. Okay. Mm hmm. I wonder if we have to choose um, what kind of, like, what he's Back actually going to do. Yeah. I'll let you choose if it comes to that. I got scared for a second. I was like, wait, why isn't it loading? <laughs> Right. I do say I will say this. Like, I it does seem like this game has a little bit of a delayed loading time for certain things. Mm -hmm. So far, maybe that's just what I'm on, or 
Here, I hope these help in your quest at BEW. Thanks. Say, what do you think I should choose? All right, what are you going to go with? Oh. But what should you like? Did you like Surfer Sting or Crow Sting better? Oh. <laughs> I think I liked Surfer Sting a little more. All right, so we'll go with the Surfer then? Mm hmm. Thanks. I'll consider that. If you need me. I'll be over here practicing some catchphrases. Go see Johnny Stretch back at the gym. Okay. Where he yeah, okay, he's at the gym over here. With the one boot for some reason. Hmm. Hey, Randy, how'd that job go? I appreciate you doing it. It should strengthen our gym's relationship with BEW. It was unexpectedly enlightening, sir. Yeah, Boxwood Extreme Wrestling is a trip. They really push for an intense vibe, what with all the barbed wire and edgy characters and all. But it's what you got to do if you want to compete with the top dogs, like Paul. Lush in action re figure wrestling. <laughs> I meant enlightening about myself, sir. Great. It's always good to learn more about ourselves and strive to become better. That's enough for one day. Are you closing up again tonight? You bet, sir. Thanks, Randy. It's dedication like that will take you far. All right, we completed a quest. Hurry. Please help Mr. Stretch's new students and please help that poor BEW wrestler regain the, his senses. Amen. Uh, he was expecting prayers. What a great mm. day, Macho Man. Oh, yeah, he's got the big Macho Man poster on his <laughs> corner. I feel like I learned so much. I'm convinced now more than ever, that we must always live out our wrestling spirit and that the world needs heroes. Good night, macho man, Randy Savage. <laughs> <laughs> macho, muchacho. You're here already. The sun hasn't even put the moon down for a three count yet. Always good to get an early start, sir. Is that a sleeping bag coming out of your locker? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Listen, I've got a surprise for everyone. Head over to the ring where you when you're ready. Okay. Alright, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do whatever we're gonna do in the ring, and then we'll call it a video. Alright. All right, class, stop the flex and turn your necks. We've got a special lesson for you. Randy, get in the ring. Today, we'll be learning about managers. Managers act as and celery party members that provide all sorts of benefits, like new gimmicks. Open the gimmick menu. All right. Okay. Now scroll to the right to see your manager. Guide. Wait, what? Triple T. Oh, manager, here it is. All right, use my... All oh, right. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, all right, use my power heckle gimmick now. Power heckle? Okay. Pretty cool, huh? 
Manager gimmicks will cost AP just like your regular gimmicks. And they also have other requirements. These gimmicks can be used by any member of your stable, so they can complement your existing abilities by filling in skill gaps. For instance, if you don't have any healing abilities, use a manager who does. Okay, that's pretty helpful, actually. Because anyone knows that for an RPG, you need a healer, so go ahead. Yep. Most managers will also have passive skills that provide bonuses to all members of your stable. They are versatile and powerful component components to your stable. Choose them wisely. Sir, you keep mentioning our stable. Do you mean that sometimes we won't have to wrestle alone? Of course not. You may find other slam junkies that you can call a friend, or even brother or sister. We'll talk more about that in today's advanced lesson. Head to the AV room when you're ready. All right, so I think we, uh, we're we pretty much at that time here. So we're going to call this a video. Like I said, it's usually going to be between 50 minutes and, uh, you know, an hour and 10. Uh, Bill, how are you feeling so far? Let me get your initial thoughts on this game. I think there's a lot of promise for this game. Um, I, I think the controls could be something that's going to have, you know, issues with people in general. Um, the story seems to be a good story so far, and I actually like the design. The design looks really good. It looks more like a mobile game than an actual video game. Well, I think what they're going for is maybe like more like an older RPG, like to sense yeah. like the early days of Final Fantasy and Dragon Quest, mm -hmm. which which yeah. I love. Like that's right up my alley. Hey, I just want to see who this guy is because he has a cape. Suave Stefan. Who do you think that's supposed to be? I thought that was I thought that was Xavier. I was thinking that too. I was thinking that uh, maybe it is. All right. So what's up with the ladder? Are they repairing something? No, they're just oh, the only thing they're fixing is the lack of spice in this matchup. Oh boy. Many battles include some kind of extra scheme or rules. These themes amp up the challenge and the crowd. For a special match, attaining victory is a matter of playing by the rules for that match. All right. Thanks for letting me know that. Uh, so, yeah. so I, my thoughts are for, I, I don't know about, I'm having a lot of fun with the, uh, with this first episode. I like that mm -hmm. there, I'm trying to think how to say this. I feel like they're really leading into like the tongue in cheek part of wrestling in some ways. Mm -hmm. You know, like, you know, even the stupid thing about these two guys fighting on a ladder for no reason. Yeah. Um, I'm excited to sit to continue it. Uh, I don't know. I have an idea, but I'm not entirely sure how long it is. Um, but like I said, we're we're here. We're gonna be doing this until Eliminated comes back in, you know, in in a long time. It'll be a while before Eliminated yeah. Rumble, Rumble podcast comes back. So uh, if you want to check out anything with Bill and I, we're going to just put that in the description of the video um, and or the podcast feed if you're listening to audio. And do you have anything else that you want to say, Bill, before we head out for this episode? Um, hopefully, you know, this game maybe convinces people to buy this game. Hopefully we'll be able to convince you guys to get it. So, All right, very good. I'll catch you next time with Bill for, for some more. WrestleQuest.